What's up guys, HR Fishing back at you guys with another banger video. This video is actually a YouTube challenge that I created and I want other YouTubers to partake in this challenge. The challenge is called Paint to Fish Challenge. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video and also smash that like button and also hit that subscriber button on the road to 1K boys. Don't forget guys, we gotta give the positive comment shout out and that goes to Addicted Angler, his comments right here. Last time I checked it was something about hitting 500 subscribers and guess what? We actually surpassed 500 subscribers so you guys we were subscribed to the channel you guys sincerely mean the entire world to me I would not be where I'm at right now today if it weren't for you guys helping me grow as a channel and become a better angler so let's get on to this video guys this paint to fish challenge is where you're gonna be taking a crankbait any kind of crankbait you want you're gonna paint it you're gonna show the steps from painting epoxy to putting hooks and fishing it and trying to catch a fish on it so that's what this challenge is all about let me show you guys what we're gonna be painting all right guys so for this challenge video I chose to paint myself a liftless crankbait and we're gonna transform this blank and to this guy right here, that little crawl pattern. So I'm gonna show you the painting process and the epoxy process for this bait. And we're gonna try to go catch a fish with it once it's nice and dry and we put some split rings and treble hooks on it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this banger video, guys. This is a bit of a difficult angle for me to get for you guys, but I'm gonna do my best to show you the painting process. I'm gonna be mostly doing time lapse of me painting. You know, we're gonna go layer over layer with different colors. So you're not gonna really hear me as talk, it's just more of a beat roll at this point. And then uh, we're gonna epoxy them, and then we're gonna go out in the water and try to catch bass on these guys. So um, let's start the painting process. All right guys, here's our finished product. It's a crayfish. It's not perfectly symmetrical on both sides. The patterns are a bit off as you guys can see, but you know, there's nothing perfectly symmetrical out in the wild. There's always gonna be something off about one side versus the other, which is fine with me, but that's a pretty nice pattern. Something that bass is definitely gonna smack on. So right now, I'm gonna go take this crankbait inside the house. We're gonna get ready to epoxy it. All right, that's our crankbait. Now it's completely submerged. We're gonna put it on this rack. This little metal wire gets rid of all the extra epoxy off the bait and evens it out in a nice layer. We're gonna let that dry for 24 hours and then we're gonna be back and we should be able to be fishing with this lure. Woo! We're back guys. Today is Wednesday. The epoxy has dried off and here is our lipless crankbait. You know, here, this is what we got. So I gotta pick up some split rings. So we're gonna go stop in at a local bait shop. We're actually here at the parking lot. We're at Lee's Bait and Tackle here in Carroll Stream in Illinois. And we're gonna pick up some split rings. I got the hooks for this. So all we need is split rings really. And then we're gonna go out to the body of water. All right guys, we got back from the shop. Now we got our two components we needed. Split rings and these special egg rings. Let's see, there you go. Egg rings are from Japan. I like these because they're really good quality. But the reason why we're going with the egg ring is so the lipless can get more vibration in the water. So now I'm gonna drive to the place. We're gonna be fishing and then we're gonna put on the hooks and we're gonna start fishing. All right guys, we made it at the spot. We're gonna get the rods tied up with the lipless and we're gonna put the hooks on it and hopefully we can slay some bass. So let me uh, throw you guys in the chest mount. Here's that lipless we painted guys. We're gonna hopefully catch something on this. We're gonna avoid casting there because I don't feel like the fish are there and uh, almost got snagged. Ooh, I got a fish. Ooh. Oh my God, he's barely on. 
Oh yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. Guys, look at that hook set. Bottom lip, as it fell, first bass. That makes this challenge completed on this. We just painted this crankbait. As you guys watch, we painted this crankbait and we caught our first fish on it. Little guy, nothing crazy. Maybe a little 12, 13 inch bass, a little guy. That's our first fish on my own painted lure. That's awesome. All right guys, we're doing this lure challenge and this is my first bass of the day. Small little one as you guys can see, but it's got a really nice firm body. Good sign that you could probably be feeding on craws or bait fish, but that's a nice little bass. I'm gonna let them go now, but that's awesome. That's on our lure we painted just a few, um, two days ago. So it's awesome to know we got a first fish on that lure. Let's hopefully catch more. Nice chunky fish. There he goes. Okay guys, that was the first fish I've caught on my own lure that I painted myself. That is awesome. And the best part is it's on camera too, so you guys can see it. I'm gonna get an idea of what this water temperature is because it's really clear water. But to my surprise, when I put that fish in the water with my hand, it was really, it wasn't as cold as I thought it would be. It's pretty warm actually. So I'm gonna get a quick reading on the water temp. 49.4 degrees. So that water temperature is actually pretty warm. That's a really good thing. All right, we're gonna put that away and let's get back to fishing. Hopefully we can catch more now. All right guys, we're gonna go try somewhere else. This spot, you know, it has bass, but I feel like uh, they're not, there's better potential at a different spot. So we're gonna go try out somewhere else, give it a try and hopefully we can catch more fish. So I'll catch you guys out in the next spot. We are fishing a spot I have not fished in years. This was, this actually still is one of my favorite forest preserves of all time. Ever since I was little, I came here. Oh, got one. Oh my God. That's a nice one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's a three pound, two and a half, maybe three. Oh my God. Look at that. That is insane. All right, guys, look at that. That is a nice largemouth. Oh my God, he's starting to bleed. All right, I'm gonna to pop this off, give a quick tape measure and a weight on this guy and then let him go. Dude, look at, look at the way he ate it though. Oh my God. 3.5 that's a three pound bass 16 and a half inch bass three pounds chunky guy that's a nice chunky fish right there awesome and not that long ago, I was complaining that I didn't really like the action on this bait. So what I did is I cast right by that structure and I guess really close to shore about, I say 15 feet away. I'm just like fishing it like a jig. Hopping it. I'm basically what I'm doing is picking it up and letting it fall. I don't remember how I caught the first one, but that's how I caught the second one. I'm really excited and I can't wait for you guys to see this video it's a very to me it's a very interesting challenge we just got home we got done eating some grub and we're done fishing for the day so now I want to take a small portion of this video to talk to you guys about the setup that I was using 
So for the reel, we were using a Daiwa Zillion SV TW in a 6.3 to 1 paired up with Sunline 12 pound test on a Abu Garcia Fantasita rod in a 7 foot 1 medium heavy. This rod is actually a glass and graphite rod put into one. And then for the lure that we were using, it's a, a lipless crankbait that we painted guys in that red crawl color as you guys can see. All right guys, now we're done talking about the setup we were using. Now I wanna call out and let you guys know, I want two other YouTubers to partake in this fishing challenge. And those two YouTubers are Addicted Angler and Fishing AOA. I'm calling out those two YouTubers to partake in the fishing challenge that I created, which is the Paint to Fish Challenge where they're gonna be having to paint their own crankbait, a lipless, a deep diver, a shallow diver, whatever they want, whatever color they want, epoxy it, put some split rings, treble hooks, and go out in the water and try to catch some fish on it. So I want them to go partake in this challenge and let me know how they did with this challenge because this was something pretty fun, interesting to film for me at least. I hope you guys find it very interesting and entertaining to watch because you're creating something and you're putting it to the test, like, are the fish gonna like it or not? When I painted this crankbait, you know, it didn't have a lot of rattles in it. I didn't really like it because I really couldn't sit there and retrieve it like a normal crankbait. But I figured out that, hey, if I'm fishing it, like uh, yo-yoing it or jigging it off the bottom, it worked great. And I caught a three pound bass at a forest preserve that I haven't fished in years, which is amazing. So guys, I want them to partake in this fishing challenge and come up with something creative, fun, entertaining for you guys to enjoy. If you guys want to check out their YouTube channels, their links will be in the description below. And guys, be sure to like, subscribe, comment to the channel, guys, and this video. Let's keep growing. We just hit 500 subscribers, guys. So let's make our way to 1,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. I know the Angel R Fishing fam's got this in the bag. And yeah, guys, so enjoy this video.